My name is Father Donahue, and I'm pastor here at St. Philip Church and Falls Church, and I've been here for the last eight months. The parish was founded in 1962, and immediately there is a school built. Uh, that was done by 1963, and uh, the plan was eventually to have a church built, but in the interim period, the, uh, the gymnasium was used for masses. And then uh, about 10 years ago, uh, when the bishop had um, the capital campaign for the diocese, the special project for this parish was to raise funds to have a renovation of, of that space that had been the gymnasium, then was the church, and now it's been a renovated church since 2007. The last stage of that renovation was the installation of stained glass windows, um, and there's eight of those which uh, feature the uh, uh, parables of Jesus, and then there's a very special one from St. John's Gospel that's in the back of the church, and that um, features um, St. Philip uh, in, in five different um, vignettes in St. John's Gospel. I'm very impressed with a, a number of, of the ministries here. I want to first mention our religious education program. Uh, we have two um, parts. One on Sunday mornings is done in English. The other part is done on Sunday afternoons, and it's bilingual, both in, in Spanish and English. Another is outreach to the poor with a food pantry, which is stocked by parishioners. In general, I'd just like to comment on the generosity of the people here, and it really comes through with a, a major event um, that we have every year called the Fall Festival, and it involves the whole parish, which uh, is basically three groups, about a third Anglo, about a third Hispanic, a third Asian, and everyone is involved. We've got a, uh, a wonderful charismatic prayer group that meets every Friday. Another group is called the neo Catechumen Away, and um, there's also Curcio that meets on a regular basis every Tuesday. We're very blessed to have the Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist here at St. Philip Parish. Um, they do not have their apostolate at this parish, um, but they're very present to the parish, especially as Eucharistic ministers, which is very important because that's their charism, is they're, they're dedicated to their Franciscan Sisters of the Eucharist. So the Eucharist is very much a part of their lives. Generally, people see the church as a place to go for Mass, and, uh, and the Mass is most important. Like the Vatican Council calls it the source and summit of our, of our Christian life. We really need to have a community where this, this faith can flourish. And, and that's why parish life, I think, uh, more so than ever and increasingly, as time goes on, I think it'll be even more important that we be tied into our parish and our families be, be active in the parish where we can live out what we celebrate at, at the Holy Eucharist. And that is um, being generous to each other, uh, helping each other and, and growing in, in the virtues.